most hated, hated opinions. Back with some more of this industry politics. Um, yeah, this this some wild shit happened in this um young thug and YSL Rico case. Apparently, motherfuckers got caught passing perks and shit. Young Thug's alleged hand-in-hand -hand courtroom drug deal caught on camera. All right, let me let me go in this shit before I get my opinion on this shit. All right, you got this dude walking him over there. You got what looks like a lawyer standing up. Look like a defendant in the suit. You got Thug right there. You got one of the defendants stand up. His lawyer looked to the side like, where you going? He walks over. He's walking over. Walks over to Thug. Puts something in Thug's hand. Walks away. Puts something in Thug's hand. Walks away. This police immediately walk. It looked like he was walking with the nigga. And this nigga is walking towards him. He don't look like he looking at Thug. But this nigga looking directly at Thug. All right. This nigga go to reach. He looks back. He sees that this this nigga bends down in front of Thug like on some, what's that? What he gave you. This nigga looking like he was going with him. But this, this little interaction f stopped him up. Like, oh, yeah, what did he give you, nigga? He looked like, I don't know if he took it from Thug. Thug looked like he using both his hands to get up. So I don't know if he took it from Thug, but it looked like he took it from Thug and he's going and questioning him about it. Like, what's this you just gave him? Now it look like he's telling him to go, go sit down, go back to your seat, go sit down. Now Thug's sitting back down. It looked like everybody rose up. Usually only do that shit when the judge is pretty, like when the judge pulls up. And then everybody stands and then sit back down when the judge sit back down. So it looked like the nigga took the shit from Thug. Thug stood up, sat back down with everybody else. He looked like he's pressing him now, like, go back, go sit down. You're not going to no bathroom. Go sit down. Uh, let's see that shit all the way through. All right, over there, look like he's sitting next to that lawyer girl. She's over there talking in the other direction. He like, all right, you, you over there distracted. Let me get up real fast. Let me go. Hit this nigga Thug off. Thug minor has been his la dee da duty do Just wiped his eyes. He turned his head like, I know I was going to let it play all the way through, but he turned his head before the nigga got up to him. So I don't know if he heard him walking, he heard him call him, or if that was just instinct, keep your head on the swivel shit. But it looked like the nigga just rubbed his eye, put his hand down. And he heard, like, slime. And he turned around and seen that nigga there. Looked like he was extending his hand for a handshake. That's why Thug put his hand out. Like, oh, nigga, what's up? Like, you bugging out. See, Thug could deny it, though. He could say, yo, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a note. I thought this nigga was trying to pass me a note. I didn't know what it was. Like, shit like that. Like, I doubt he knew it was a perk unless he told the nigga, yo, I, I give me a perk. Like, like you know, a nigga mouth, I got perks. And another nigga like, yo, give me a perk. Give me one, nigga. Then he like, yo, all right, I'm going to go to the bathroom, try to finesse the shit before I go to the bathroom. But that shit got stopped immediately. Nigga grabbed that shit. He said, go back. Go, go sit back there. Nigga. Go sit back there. All right. We got state's amended motion for clarification of the record. All right. Defendant Jeffrey Lamar Williams has been indicted along with defendant Khalif Adams for conspiracy to violate the Racketeering Influence and Corruption Act, Organizations Act, and participation in the criminal street gang activity. Among other charges to date, defendant Williams has filed multiple motions demanding a speedy trial opposing the continuance of any kind and alleging prosecutorial misconduct for one reason or another. The process of selecting a jury, jurors to serve in his case is ongoing and juror hardship are being addressed by the court. Defendant Williams' actions 
have caused the delay in the trial on Wednesday, January 18th, 2023, after the call the order of the court. But why are y'all saying Williams' actions? Williams didn't do nothing. Williams was in his seat the whole time. How are you going to say it's his actions? Defendant Adams, who is currently serving a life without parole sentence for murder, conducted a hand-in-hand -hand drug transaction with defendant Jeffrey Lamar Williams in open court. Court surveillance video proved to the district attorney by the Fulton County Sheriff captured defendant Adams and defendant Williams as the two exchanged the narcotic. The district attorney and the undersigned deputy district attorney observed the following chain of events depicted on the Fulton County Superior Courthouse courtroom 1C surveillance video provided to the district attorney by the sheriff, January 18, 2023, defendant Khalif Adams and defendant Jeffrey Lamar Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, conducted a hand-to-hand -hand drug transaction inside courtroom 1C of the Fulton County Superior Courthouse. Defendant Khalif Adams stood up from his chair, yeah, we've seen that, inside courtroom 1C and walked unattended to where defendant Jeffrey Lamar Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, was seated at counsel table next to his attorney. Defendant Adams approached defendant Williams and extended a close right, a close right hand toward defendant Williams. Defendant Williams extended his open right hand toward defendant Adams. Adams's closed right hand and accepted an item of contraband to wit Percocet from inside defendant Adams's hands. Defendant Williams then closed his right hand around the contraband, placed it, placed his closed right hand underneath the table where he sat next to his attorney to conceal his receipt of the legal contraband. To wit, Percocet. Sheriff's office personnel immediately approached Defendant Williams and demanded that Defendant Williams relinquish the contraband. Defendant Williams placed it in his hand before placing his hand under the table. Oh, wait, wait. We relinquished the contraband defendant Williams placed in his hand before placing his hand under the table. Defendant Williams withdrew his right hand from underneath the table and relinquished to the sheriff's office personnel the contraband to what Percocet he had attempted to conceal. The hand-to-hand -hand drug exchange between defendant Adams and defendant Williams um, um, hand from underneath the table and relinquished to sheriff's office personnel the contraband to wit Percocet that he had attempted to conceal. The hand to hand drug exchange between defendant Adams and defendant Williams led to the discovery of even more contraband inside the courtroom. Following the hand to hand drug exchange between defendant Williams and defendant Adams. Sheriff's office personnel searched Defendant Adams, who resisted being searched. During a search of Defendant Adams, the sheriff, sheriff recovered from Defendant Adams' Percocet, marijuana, tobacco, and other contraband wrapped in plastic and food seasonings to mask the odor of marijuana. Defendant Adams was taken to Grady Hospital after he appeared to ingest other items of contraband that he held on his person. In an effort to conceal the extent of his crimes within the courtroom. For accuracy, the record should reflect that Defendant Williams's, along with Defendant Adams's, actions caused a delay in the trial. As a result of Defendant Williams's and Defendant Adams's possession and distribution, respectively, of contraband, court was delayed and adjourned before a single juror hardship was addressed for the day. Stated plainly, the court was delayed solely because of Defendant Williams's and Defendant Adams's illegal acts of possession and distribution, respectfully, res yeah, respectively, of contraband inside of Fulton County Courthouse. All right, so they blaming Thug. Hold on, there's more. Look like that. Uh, according to the state. Accordingly, the state moves this honorable court to make a finding of fact 
that court was delayed on January 18, 2023 because of the actions of Defendant Williams and Defendant Adams respectfully submitted this 19th of January. Fanny Willis and Adrian Love. So yeah, they blaming Thug. They blaming Thug for um for the hand to hand, even though like I said, it didn't look like he knew it was coming until it was dead. So the only other way, I guess, the only way for them to say that he didn't have nothing to do with it was when he turned around and seen um what's this nigga name? Hold on. What was they calling him? What was they calling him? Adams? Khalif Adams. That sound like SB. I don't hold on. Let's see who Khalif Adams is. Matter of fact, it don't even fucking matter. Um, it looked like the only way they could say that Doug wasn't involved is this right here. When he turns around and sees the nigga, look, these niggas was already on him. They was already walking towards him. So when he turned around and seen the nigga extend his hand, what they saying, Thug should have never extended his hand? Like, he didn't know what he was giving him. So they just saying the act of him extending his hand and, and receiving whatever he gave him, that's involvement. You, you involved in the shit. Nigga line thug up, bro. Line thug. I ain't. I, there's no other way to put it. Line thug up, nigga. Like you got this nigga. Damn near extra charge. Like an extra charge. But this goes to what I was saying with the um, the Yak Gotti and his moms. Like, bro, y'all priorities is fucked up. You thinking about perks and weed and and shit like that when y'all niggas is facing life, nigga. They say you already you already in there for life. Fuck is you doing hand and thug perks, bro? Fuck is you on? Like, how that make that make sense, my nigga? You already looking at life. This nigga looking at life. You over there trying to get him some perks. This nigga rich. If he want a perk, he gonna find a fucking perk, bro. The fuck you trying to give him perks for? Like, that shit crazy. Like I said, it'd be different if the nigga thug asks for it. Like, yo. If this nigga sit down, he look around, he see the nigga, he like, yo, perks. Nigga thug like, let me get one. Like, if he asks a nigga for it, but it looked like you just got up out your fucking seat. You got up out your fucking seat, said, look, this nigga ain't looked back the whole time. He ain't looked back not one time. Thug still looking forward. Ain't looked back not one time. Look. The nigga just gets up, walks over the thugs. Thug ain't look back. He about to wipe his eyes. Ah, something in my eye. All right. And the nigga turned, like I said, he turned before the nigga came to him. So he had to call him. He had to be like, you're slime. He had to say something to make the nigga like turn around like that before he pulled up. Nigga gave him the joint. And now he implicated in a drug exchange. In a, in, you feel me? In a drug exchange in court. Like, y'all niggas is tweaking. That was some real junky shit or some real confidential informant line a nigga up shit. Like, they like, yo, we need this nigga to stay in here for as long as possible. Go get this nigga some motherfucking drugs. You already in here for life, nigga. We'll knock down. We'll give you parole. We'll take off the no parole and give you parole if you go over there and pass that, them drugs off. Like, this shit is wild, bro. Y'all priorities is ass the fuck backwards. We're going to leave that bitch right there. Most hated, hated opinions. I'm out this bitch.